Um, in order to make silver, you're going to need a couple things. Um, you're going to need at least 4.9 silver, what they call uh, wire, preferably. Don't use any coins or anything like that. They have copper in them, which is poisonous. And distilled water, nothing else. Um, and you also need some way to tell when your colloidal silver is finished, either a meter that reads in parts per million or a uh, laser of some type, which I'll show you how to use later. Okay, let's get started uh, with some of the other stuff you'll need here. Of course, your uh, silver wire, cut the length, depends on the kind of container you use, the depth. Um, I bend a little hook on the end of each one so they go over the edge of the container. And uh, that's about it for that. You need a scrubby, uh, like a Scotch Brite pad, to polish your silver. A couple of 9 volt battery terminals, um, get them in electronic stores or whatever, uh, under a dollar a piece. And I cut them so there's one red and one black and you'll see how to use them in a minute. You need four 9 volt batteries and some of these uh, alligator clip jumpers. You can also get them in the electronics store. They're pretty cheap. A glass container. Use only glass and distilled water. Depending on how much you make in a batch. I'm making a half gallon here. Okay, take your four batteries and what we're going to do is we're going to hook them in series to make 36 volts at least to start out with and they do clip right together so you want positive to negative negative to positive and so forth sorry about the autofocus there and clip them together and then you're going to take your little terminals here and uh, the polarity is marked on the side of the battery so you can tell which is positive which is negative and it fits just like Legos goes together real easy and I do this so I don't have to, you don't really need the terminals, you can clip them right on the battery but this just makes it easier okay so take your wire pieces and scrub them get them nice and bright and shiny um, don't want any corrosion or tarnish or anything on there get them both polished up and then just when you get it done hook it over the side of the jar Pretty straightforward. Get them in there. And yeah, try not to uh, touch the wire or anything like that, as, at least as little as possible. Get them both in there and get it so you can see it. And they should sit in there pretty well. And change the bend a little bit if you have to. Take your jumpers with your alligator clips and you're going to hook the black one to one wire and the red one to the other wire if you've ever done this in chemistry class or anything as electrolysis same idea and make sure your wires aren't touching um, inch, inch and a half apart is fine they don't have to be perfectly parallel or anything like that so, and then hook up the black wire to the black wire and the red wire to the red wire. It's pretty straightforward. And you try to uh, avoid moving the wires around too much so they don't cross. And that's it. Just let it sit. And it takes a while before anything actually starts to happen. Uh, since it's distilled water, there's no, real, no conductivity in the water. So, uh, this is my meter that I use. Um, you can buy them different places. Okay, you'll notice uh, when it starts out here, there's uh, one terminal will bubble a little bit and get a black build up on it. The other terminal, there'll be a, a cloudy kind of brownish substance coming off. And, and looks like smoke almost, you'll see that. Okay, here is a little bit further along. Um, as the silver builds up in the water, the, the reaction happens faster. And the black one, you can... Uh, take that out carefully and wipe it off with a clean paper towel if you want to uh, just draw it out it's real soft this is using a laser you can see how that you can see the beam in the water that's the silver particles reflected 
Um, you don't need it like lightsaber bright, but just a little bit further along, you can see I've cleaned the one terminal on the right. And uh, got all that black stuff off, and it just ends up with a cleaner product. When you get done, you want to make sure you put them in a brown, amber, or uh, cobalt blue bottle. Avoid sunlight or any direct light. That'll destroy it. Okay, that's all there is. Thanks.